Good morning children. Today we shall learn why exponents are important. We already know that exponents are used to express very huge numbers in short. But what kind of huge number? Do you know what is the age of this universe? It's 13 billion 798 million years. Now how to represent this easily? We have the digits 1, 3, 7, 9, 8 followed by 6 zeros. Here if we are trying to represent it in decimal notation then the point moves by 9 places to the right as we multiply by 9 tens. So we can say the age of this universe is almost 13.798 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 years. Simple to represent, isn't it? You must have also heard of stars which are very far away from us. They are so far that we cannot write the distance in kilometers without using exponents. Their distance is often expressed in light year. You know one light year is equal to this many meters. That's a huge number. But using exponents we can simplify it and write one light year is equal to 9.4607 multiplied by 10 to the power 15 meters. Even the nearest star to the earth after sun is Proxima Centauri which is 4.243 light years away from us. That's quite far, isn't it? Also, the weight of sun is almost 1.9891 multiplied by 10 to the power 30 kilograms. It means 19891 then 26 zeros for 10 to the power 26 and it is shortly expressed as 1.9891 multiplied by 10 to the power 30 kgs. And you know it is also a unit to measure the mass of other stars and it is called the solar mass. Like one of the brightest star in the Milky Way is the blue pistol star and we can say its mass is equal to 115 solar mass. Can we write that weight in kilograms without exponents? Well, it would take a long time to count the exact number of zeros hmm? and hence we use the exponents. Talking about earthquakes, you know the intensity of earthquake is measured in richer scale and it consists of up to 10 levels or 10 scale. If the reading increases by one mark, it means earthquake is 10 times stronger than the previous mark. For example, 4 magnitude earthquake is 10 times stronger than the 3 magnitude earthquake. 6 magnitude earthquake is therefore 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 or 10 to the power 3 times stronger than the 3 magnitude earthquake. You know the earthquake in Valdivia, Chile in May 1960 was the strongest ever over 9 magnitude that is more than 10 to the power 6 times stronger than a minor earthquake and hence it caused huge destruction. Also, do you know how many cells are there in our body? Our body has approximately 10 to the power 13 to 10 to the power 14 cells. That's a huge number of cells. Do you know how many molecules are there in 1 gram of water? 
well there are 3.345 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 molecules and that's a great number also in 1 gram of oxygen there are 1.88 multiplied by 10 to the power 22 molecules we use the exponents even in our daily life for example when we think about memory chip or RAM in the PC we know 1 megabyte is equal to 1024 kilobyte that is 2 to the power of 10 KB so 1 gigabyte has 2 to the power 10 MB that is 2 to the power 10 plus 10 that is 2 to the power 20 KB thus any huge number can be expressed a number between 1 to 10 multiplied by 10 raised to some integer for example the population of India is almost 1 billion 232 million 830 thousand and this we can simply write it as 1.23 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 look here the point would move to right by 9 places if we multiply by 10 to the power 9 and it will be the same number that is 1 billion 232 million and 830 thousand you know the exponents can be used in expressing very very small numbers too for example 10 to the power minus 9 means 1 divided by 10 to the power 9 and that is very very small so in this case the point would move to left by 9 points and we get a small number 0. 0.000 0 0 0 0 0 1 and lastly do you know which is the smallest virus well it is porcine circovirus in short PCV this smallest virus porcine circovirus type 1 has the diameter which is 17 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 9 meter in diameter that is 17 and point shifted to left by 9 places which is 0 0.000000017 meters now we would learn more about the negative exponents in the higher classes that's all for now bye bye children